for Morton. I commend the member for Parramatta for her motion. Obviously, we take verbal communication for granted as we go about our lives, but the deaf community face communication challenges every day, every day. Auslan is, Auslan is a language in its own right, deriving from sign languages from Britain and Ireland and has developed naturally over time. Children born to deaf parents who use Auslan learn to sign naturally in the same way that hearing children learn verbal language from their parents. For a large part of the deaf community, Auslan is acquired as a second language during childhood, adolescence or even later in life. So I'd like to thank Deaf Services Queensland for their instruction in Auslan for the first part of my speech, and I, uh, particularly Janelle Wallen. I hopefully got it right for you. As you can see, I'm not very proficient at signing, but I have an enormous appreciation for the people who are proficient in Aus Auslan signing. Deaf Services Queensland are located in Maruka in my electorate, the same suburb that I live in. This wonderful organisation has been operating since 1903, and they are the leading provider of support services and information to the deaf and hard of hearing community in Queensland. Currently, one in six Australians are affected by hearing loss, and it's predicted that by 2050, 2050 it will be one in four. There are approximately 30,000 Australians who have total hearing loss who use Auslan. The services provided by Deaf Services Queensland include Auslan interpreting, culturally and linguistically diverse interpreting, Auslan translations, employment support services, Auslan classes, independent living support and deafness awareness training. They also provide a support service for children and families. I can only imagine the challenges that having a hearing impaired child would create in a family. With 90 per cent of people who are born with hearing impairments from hearing families, there must be a huge need for that type of support. Hearing loss would be a challenge at any age, but for children and babies with partial or complete hearing loss, it must be not only terribly frightening, but a frustration to normal childhood development. An incredibly large number of Australian children are affected by hearing loss. More than 12,000 children in Australia have a significant hearing impairment. On average, one Australian child is identified as hearing impaired every day. One in 1,000 babies is born with significant hearing loss. And by school age, two in every 1,000 children uh, have identified hearing loss. And by the end of secondary school, more than three in every 1,000 children will require assistance because of hearing loss. For these children and their families, facilities like the Yurongpili Early Childhood Development Program provides a solid foundation from which to launch their educational experience. The Yurongpili Early Childhood Development Program uh, is an education Queensland facility for young children with hearing loss from birth to pre-prep. This free program is located on the campus of the Yuronga State School and I'm visiting uh, Jennifer, Jenny, Jennifer McKee and the rest of the team this Friday. The program offers a range of communication choices to families, including auditory, oral, spoken language in combination with Auslan and bilingual bilingual bicultural. Last week in Parliament House, I participated in a game of silent touch football, so no sledging, uh, in recognition <laughs> of the challenges facing the hearing impaired in everyday life. Rugby league legend, uh, Wally Lewis, who has had personal experience of the challenges of hearing impairment through his daughter, Jamie Lee, was on hand. Uh, Jamie Lee didn't play this year, uh, and certainly Wally added a bit of class to the uh, politicians running around. Uh, also, the, uh, a few weeks back, the principal of Calavale Special School, Tom Byrne, brought his, some of his students to Canberra. I caught up with them and the, the member for Rankin, because they serve as both of our electorates. Calavale is one of the largest special schools in, on the south side. It has 130 students. All students have significant intellectual disabilities, but several students have multi multiple disabilities, including autism, cerebral palsy and hearing impairments. The students range from 5 to 18 years old. 22 classes at Calavale with 80 teachers, including teacher aides, and all teacher aides and all the students at Calavale Special School learn Auslan, all of them. Incredibly, their senior class of eight students conducts all of its lessons bilingually using both English and Auslan. The principal, Tom Byrne, explained that some autistic children cannot verbalise, so learning Auslan gives those children a way of communicating and also allows those with hearing impairments to be included. So I particularly commend the member for 
Parramatta for bringing this motion to the House.